Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video, and in today's video we're going to be doing a what if. Being the thumb, what if the, the thumbnail of the what if is right here. This is going to be a universal intro from now on, so yeah, I'm sorry about that. Until I can get more time, because I do have school, summer school at least, I won't be able to post any really good intros. So this is going to be an intro for a while. So, hope to see you later. Join the Discord server, link in the description, and let's get in to the what if. Wait, wait, nigga. So today I would like to welcome you guys back to another what if being the 700 sub special which is coming out in the late 750s. We finally passed 750 subs and we're close to 800 subs. I don't think I'm going to do a special for 800, maybe a thousand. So maybe because doing doing sub specials are kind of hard for me because I also have to focus on the what ifs of the week. And I can't just make a whole week about a, about a special. So I'm going to try to make the sub specials into movies. Now, today's special is What If Naruto Was a Ceiling God. So, let's just get into the What If. Now, the What If starts off after, well, after the incident with the Sasuke Retrieval arc. The Sasuke Retrieval mission, Naruto is eventually washed away from the, uh, from the, by the current and the Valley of the End. And ends up in the in a place. Now, originally, I was going to have Naruto eventually going to this place with Jiraiya when he was a kid but I'd rather have him do these things now we'll come back and surprise everyone so when Naruto would awaken Naruto would awaken to notice that he's on an island surrounded by whirlpools and you eyes you eyes I said you eyes you guys already know what this place is but with it being surrounded by whirlpools Naruto is extremely confused on how he got here and how he did not die he sees no clear entry or exit but the thing is the whirlpools are made with seals Seals that don't allow anybody unless they have a sudden blood relation to the people that lived here, which Naruto has. As Naruto begins to walk around, Naruto begins to feel something entering his system. Another chakra source. As Naruto feels this, as Naruto begins to draw upon chakra, as he knows that this is a Genjutsu. And he has very little chakra. Well, he has enough chakra to dispel it, but it, well, not enough chakra to actually dispel it yet. As Naruto begins to dig deeper, as he begins to call upon the Kyuubi's chakra, and with one final Kai, one big Kai, Naruto dispelled the Genjutsu Sea, a city, a beautiful city with no people that seems to be deserted, but yet is in the utmost condition. As Naruto noticed that the city is somewhat built similar to Konoha, there are compounds, there's a, what he would think to be a Kage mansion, something similar to the Okage mansion. As Naruto begins to look around, wondering where he's at. As Naruto makes it go sit to the Kage mansion and reads a scroll that says, um, Uzushi Okakur, home of the Uzumaki clan. As Naruto begins to read about this, now we're gonna, I'm gonna have the Uzumaki clan survive into the third great shinobi war. So, Kushina, and this is gonna be so that I can tell, so that Naruto will be able to find out who his parents are at least. And there's a reason why, cause, so yeah, there's a reason for that. Now Naruto also learned that this island was shared with, by a clan by the name of the Namakaze clan, once upon a time at least. No, 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 let's not do that. Let's not do that officially. Better yet, we're just gonna have it be with the, just the Uzumaki clan. Naruto will learn that the Uzumaki clan had very great relations with Konoha. And were considered to be the cousin clans of both the Uchiha and the Senju clan. And the Uzumaki clan was actually also considered to be very distant relatives of the Hyuga clan. And were to be one of is the one of the three founding clans of Konoha. While they never stood stood in Kona, um, lived in Konoha, they helped give Konoha the the play. They gave them basically the area of which Konoha was built in. Now until learning about this. Or wonder why? How come he's never heard about the con about the Uzumaki clan, and the um, <clears throat> and the um, academy? 
As Naruto begins to walk around the uh, Kage Mansion, basically, he finally enters upon a deep room. But Naruto then looks at the room and, hear, and sees above it says, um, Clan uh, Uzumaki Clan Head or Clan Heirs only. As Naruto would think, he never, he ne he doesn't know who his parents are, so maybe he was a clan heir, which would be true. His mother wouldn't have Kashina be the, the next, would have been the next in line uh, with Zumaki clan head if she hadn't left Konoha. Well, when she was leaving to Konoha, she was going to eventually come back and be, lead the Uzumaki clan into Konoha. And there's a reason why the place looks deserted and why they were killed. So, um, Naruto would obviously um, enter where he would then read a stone tablet. This stone tablet would then begin the detail of a prophecy of a person who is to be known as a foreign jutsu god, a sealing god in the sealing arts. It was also stated that this person would have would be a half blood Uzumaki, which is going to be pretty much stated, obviously, and that this person would be able to wield both the weapons, the both of the first two, the first two weapons of the Shinigami itself. So Naruto begins to read this more and more. Naruto understands the prophecy. As Naruto wonders, maybe since he hasn't heard of the Uzumaki clan, and and from what he can tell, almost every Uzumaki clan member seems to have red hair. Naruto thinks maybe he could be the prophecy, the person that this prophet is talking about. He obviously knows that he may have to be half blood if he was born in Konoha, because he usually made that specifically clear that Naruto was a Konoha shinobi. A Konoha, was born to two Konoha Shinobi, very powerful ones at that. So Naruto will begin gathering things. As Naruto decides he's going to train here for the next seven years. So I'm going to be pushing back everything after, like from um, everything from Shippuden back four years. Because there's the four year time skip, and there's the two years when it comes to. The start of the end of Shippuden to the end of Shippuden, or to the end of the war, which is when Naruto is 17, because he comes back when he, I believe, when he's 15, and and he turns 16, and then eventually 17. So obviously Naruto would begin studying. Yes, Naruto would fall in love with the art of sealing, and Naruto would learn that the Uzumaki clan has a special summon, the the Dragon Summon. Which Naruto easily signed the contract and would actually summon and but would um, would sign the contract. But before reading, Naruto would heard would, uh, read that the dragon summon was to be um but not very known to share summoners with other um summons. So Naruto would have to, you know, obviously talk to his own summons first. So he would then summon Gamabunta and would talk to Gamabunta. Gamabunta is extremely worried as he asked Naruto where has he been that everyone's been looking for him. Everyone thinks he's dead. He, they've had a funeral for him already. As Naruto says that he's here in a place called Uzuyoshi, the the the, the, the um, land of Eddies, I believe, or um, the village hidden in the Eddies is what, they, or a village hidden in the Whirlpool or Whirlpool Village. We're just gonna call it Whirlpool Village because I'm not gonna be able to pronounce that right every time. As Naruto, as Gumbo just says, "Oh, well, I'll alert Jiraiya immediately." As Naruto says, "No." Don't alert Jiraiya. I, 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 I want to learn as much as I can from this place. I don't want anyone to come here. I don't want anyone to know. Before what I read, no one can enter the place unless they are an Uzumaki, of Uzumaki blood. Half or full Uzumaki. As, as Gamabuta understands, as he says, well, at least come back to the toads one day. Um, and, okay, No, this is Gamabuta will tell no, so, to come to the land of the toads in three years. That they're going to do a special toad training that the toads do with their summoners. Naruto will not before Gambuta could leave. Naruto will then tell him that he signed the contract with the dragons. As Gambuta is extremely fearful, the dragons were known to be the strongest summons. The summons of the sages of the six past themselves alongside the frogs. As Gambuta says, oh, Naruto, <clears throat> you summoned the wrong person. I can get the right person here to help you. As Naruto begins to ask Ku, he says the Frog Elder. I believe his name was Gamamaru. I'm gonna make sure that his. Well, apparently, it was right. I had to make sure I was getting the right Toad name. As Naruto would nod before 
he would before Gambuta says he's gonna need some chakras. Naruto, whose chakra has been building up for over the years, but well, over the past couple, um, dare I say weeks, would um, and since he hasn't really spent any chakra really yet, he hasn't really used his chakra for more for basic besides basic needs and training. Naruto hasn't expelled that much chakra. So, Naruto would have obviously uh, funneled a lot of chakra things on Gamabunta. Because Gamabunta was summoning Gamamaru. Because Gamamaru would say, Ah, Gamabunta, what are we... Hmm. The village, the whirlpool village, what are we doing here? As Gamamaru would look down and says, Ah, I know who you are. You're the... As he then says, Child of Prophecy. Which shocks Gamabuta. He says, is he the one? He says, yes, he's the child of prophecy, but there seems to be two prophecies being fulfilled within him. That's not to say it's two prophecies. Dang, I just had said the word, now I can't pronounce it. Prophecies. As prophecy. I do, I, I do that sometimes, I'm sorry. As Naruto says, what? As he says, yes. I see. Um, you see, there was one prophecy, I think I'm saying this right now, where a child would, br um, a student of Jiraiya would bring the world to true peace, and then another was that of the Uzumaki's prophecy, the sealing God, and you seem to be both of those. I don't know how, but you are. As a certain tale of beast within Naruto, seeing this widens his eyes. The child of prophecies that Gamamaru was, the child of prophecy that Gamamaru was telling him about, at least the first one, was the one that his father had once spoke of. Which shocks the QB within him. And so QB says, well, if he is him, then preparations must be made. As Kurama begins to make preparations to make Naruto as strong as possible. To unite all the tail beasts together once again. Which is part of the prophecy, kind of. So, anyways. No, that actually makes three prophecies. So, it makes Naruto super special. As Naruto would not, as uh, Gumboots would explain the situation to Gamamaru, telling him that Naruto has signed the Dragon's Summoning Contract. And he's like, ah, oh, um, Gamabuta, you might want to leave. The Dragons don't really take kindly to other summons, and I'm the only toast, toast, toast the only summon to gain the respect of the Dragon Leader when they first became summoned. As Deku will not. Now, I'm going to be taking the name of a fictional character from another anime, just giving him the, uh, and just giving it to this dragon. So, he's not going to be the exact same. As Naruto will then wipe his blood with his other hand, which is which the hand that he signed with the dragon summons. He dra signed one with his, uh, right hand and one with his left hand. We're going to have the left being dragon, the right being toad. Naruto will summon the dragon, but he will put in so much chakra. All that built up chakra and Kurama adding chakra in to make sure that this happens, that Naruto ends up summoning a giant black dragon, which seems to be the size of a country. As other villages are looking into the sky, as they see a dragon is there. As Naruto and as who is he? As he says, who dare summon the dragon leader, Kaido? And it, yes, I, I chose Kaido. I mean, he's literally a blue dragon. I could. But he's a blue dragon, but this one is black. So, yeah, there's some differences. But, yeah, I chose Kaido. No, I could have chose... Um, I, I only um, could have chose Momonosuke, but now Momonosuke is a civil eye dragon hybrid person. Anyways, so I decided to go and I had to choose Kaido. But that's beside the point. Naruto would go on. Um, Nar um, the dragon would look down on Naruto. But he would then look beside Naruto to see a familiar face. As he says, ah, Gamamaru, it's really nice to see you. What are you doing here with the person who I assume summoned me? Well, <clears throat> Kaido, it seems that this boy is now a summoner of both the toads and the dragons. As the dragon will begin to look at Naruto, saying, Boy, why did you sign the Toad Country? It's not, as Gamamaru explains, speaks up and explains to Kaido that Naruto has signed the Toad Country before the Dragon Contract. As Kaido then asks, Where are the Uzumaki 
the Uzumaki clan members. As Gamamaru says that there are currently only, I believe there's currently only three Uzumakis left. One is in the Hidden Rain Village. One is in um, the grasp of a su other su of the Snake Summoner Orochimaru, and this one of them. This is the last of the three Uzumakis. Because Naruto will hear that he has family somewhere, and one of them is with the Orochimaru, but another is in a village called the Hidden Rain Village. It's a village that he's never heard of before. As the dragon would say, so they were wiped out, huh? I told them moving to Konoha would be a bad idea. Yes, I agree it was a bad idea. As the dragon will say, well then, because it's the Toads and I very respect you and your summons, I will allow him to sum to sum to the, the summoning contract with the dragons. He will be our last, he will be one of our, he will head the new Uzumaki clan as I can feel the clan head the, cl the clan head from my time running in him, his blood, and that man gave my respect. As the dragon, as Gamamaru and Naruto will nod, and he says, "What is your name, boy?" As Naruto will say, "I, I'm Naruto Uzumaki." Adding a little bass in his voice, he's not going to back down. As the dragon will say, "Well then, welcome, Naruto." To the dragons, to the, to the dragon summoners, being the first in hunt. And over, I believe, we're going to say around the Rigor Shinobi War, 20 years. We're going to say 20 years. 20, 20 years, actually. No, I'm like 10, 12. I would say nine, a good 18 or 15. 15 18. As a dragon with these summon itself, as Gamamaru says, well, good luck in your training, young Uzumaki. As Naruto or not, as Gamamaru with these summon itself back to his throne, back in the Imami and Boku. As Naruto will continue his training, and we're going to time skip to three years later. Naruto has fully mastered the art of silk in just three years with the help of his shadow clones. He's learned some of the water style jutsus, and he's just now starting on Kenjutsu. As Naruto begins to look around Kona, around um, the Whirlpool Village for a sword, as Naruto decides that why not head back to the to the Kage Mansion where he's been living at for the past couple of years. As Naruto has grown his hair out, his hair is actually now red from being more in touch with his Uzumaki heritage, along with him dying most of it, actually. But some of it is now red, but most of it is now, but his, uh, his entire hair and the color is now red. As Naruto has decided to um, pick up Kenjutsu, as it was one of the very few things that the Uzumaki clan is sold in, being Fuenjutsu, nin, uh, Water Ninjutsu, and then Kenjutsu. As Naruto would um, go to the Kage Mansion before entering, looking through every room where he could not find the sword. He couldn't even find one in the armory, as is, it seems as if, as if it's been cleared out. As Naruto begins to look, as he enters the, the room where the tablet is, the stone tablet of the Uzumaki clan is, as Naruto begins to um, look around, as he senses another Genjutsu while in the room, and he dispenses it with the help of the QB, somebody who's been willingly working with Naruto for the past three years. As Naruto dis um, decides to um, walk towards where the Genjutsu at is and dispels it as he sees a hidden door, as Naruto opens the door and walks into a room. When he comes to a case that shows two different weapons, a black sword, with a um, a black sword and then a scythe, as Naruto would look up as he reads the weapons of the Shinigami, as Naruto begins to read a little history over it, the for the sword is the first weapon of the Shinigami, as he says that the weapon was known mostly as n name was known as death. People would always thought that death was a person or a agent of the Shinigami, but no, it was its first weapon. As Naruto then reads the scythe, the scythe was once a human soul, the first soul that the Shinigami had actually um, take took with Grim, or um, with death, and it was and the person's soul was named Grim Reaper, and th and he was known to be a man that was to never be able to be killed by anything but the Shinigami. And the Shinigami used the man's power to make him into a 
into a weapon, used his soul to make a weapon named the Grim Reaper. As Naruto decides to pick up both swords, Naruto feels an insurgence of energy as his eyes begin to glow. Wait, I gotta figure out which color the shit he got me's eyes were. I'm just gonna say golden eyes. His eyes begin to glow a golden color. As Naruto begins to be filled within the knowledge of how the Shinigami has used these weapons. As Naruto put, drops both weapons as he sees seals begin to appear around his body. The seals, as Naruto notices that these are the seals that are known to be inscribed upon the Shinigami. As Naruto would then basically take both weapons before sealing away the scythe and the sword into his into one of his weapon seal that's on his palms. As Naruto will take the swords before adding seals on them, and I won't go into what these seals do, but Naruto has become very adept in the art of sealing. As Naruto decides, hmm, I've trained myself well. Now I need to focus on all my skills. I need to improve all my jutsus. As Naruto goes on for the next two years improving the jutsus, along with training on Mount Miyaboku with the toads, I didn't forget about that. As Naruto does this, as Naruto figures out his training, the seven years that of training that he has now done, has the seven year time scale worth of training that Naruto has done is now up. As Naruto begins to seal everything, I mean everything of Uzushi Ogakure inside, a headband, his red, his cloak that he had gotten from the toes, the cloak and the hat of the Uzu, the cage of the Uzumakis, the clan head, basically. As Naruto begins to leave, as his hair is now long, tied in red, and, well, something is long with the backup part of it where the ponytail starts is red but the front part where you mostly see is now yellow due to Naruto growing it out for the past couple years and not cutting it. As Naruto learns as a tradition that the Uzumaki clan started with the Uchiha clan was that they never cut their hair until they had lost the battle. As Naruto says, Kurama, I think it's time to leave me. As Kurama says, yes. I believe you're now ready to take on what the world has to offer. Alright guys, I'm gonna re I'm gonna stop this and put it as a part one, but it's not really. It's the movie. I film it in parts so that I won't mess up the movie formats, the movie at all. So yes. Alright, so we start off this this uh okay, so we're picking back up where we left off. Now um Naruto would have left the hidden the village hidden in the whirlpools. As Naruto would have left a certain marker there. And you guys are wondering, hey, yo, he knows that you too? Yes, and there's a reason for that. Now, anyways, moving on. Naruto would have left a certain marker on the um, hidden whirlpool village, on the whirlpool village, and would have left, walking up over the whirlpools. As he sees, as the whirlpool, or the whirlpools, wherever he walks, began to dissipate. Naruto is basically using water walking to get there. As Naruto has taken almost everything, every weapon, every armor, everything Uzumaki from this village, and has sealed it up into the scroll on his back. As Naruto begins to walk, as he finally enters the land of fire, as fire, <laughs> the land of fire, before then uh, walking towards Konoha, waiting to go back home. As Naruto bites his thumb while walking, as he summons a frog. As Naruto then says, Hey, Gamakichi. Gamakichi says, Oh, big brother Naruto. We're not playing poker again, are we? He says, No. As, Gamak As Naruto says, Go ahead and tell Konoha that there's going to have a special visit. That the Toad is sending someone special to them. Don't tell them who, but just tell them the Toad is sending something special. And when you do something yourself, tell the Toad not to tell anyone. Not even Jiraiya. As Gamakichi would nod before summoning himself right by where Jiraiya is, which is currently in the Hokage's office. As Shinade then says, Jiraiya, did you summon Gamakichi? As Gamakichi, as Gamakichi says, no. Jiraiya didn't summon me. As they asked him who did, the only other person to summon was Naruto. As he says, well, the Toads have someone special coming to Konoha. As they says, and who is it? As Gamakichi says, that they'll just have to wait to see. He says, and he might make a flashy entrance, to be honest. 
So watch out for anything that seems unnatural. It might be him. So this is quite stupid, but okay. Thank you, Gabakichi, for your report. As um, Gabakichi summons himself and tells the Toad not to let Jiraiya know anything. When Jiraiya summons the Toad and to ask them what about, they will say that they just a surprise and that they won't tell. So Jiraiya has tried to summon every Toad, even Gamabuta, when he went outside and no one has told him anything. As three days later, someone is arriving in Konoha, was actually on the outskirts of Konoha. As this person then says, bite his tongue, as he says, summoning Jutsu on his left hand. As Naruto summons Kaido, as Kaido says, Naruto, um, <clears throat> Naruto, what is it that you need? As Naruto says, Shh, keep your voice down, Kaido. Take us into the sky and fly us above Konoha. And when I give you the signal, fly down. As Naruto puts on a mask before then changing his hair to a full on red color. A much vibrant red, the color of his mother's hair, own hair. As Kaido would nod before then Naruto jumping on his head and they fly up into the sky. As Naruto will begin floating above Konoha. As they finally made it. As everyone notices, the clouds clouds begin to form above Konoha. On this, in this middle of the day, there were no clouds sighted and it's not supposed to rain. As it begins to thunder, as everyone sees the visage of a dragon, something that some people have not seen since the Uzumaki clan. As Jiraiya and Tsunade are alerted to this along with Danzo, they all appear outside and look into the sky to see a dragon coming down. As they then see the dragon head come down with a person a person wearing a mask the mask of a fox with full red hair very long red hair but full red hair and Jiraiya and Tsunade and Danza knowing what this means means this person is extremely strong because they have not cut their hair which means they have never lost a battle As Donzo um, has his root ready, un ready to attack and to capture this person, and provide a decoy in case this person seems to be more or less beneficial for his reign to be put into his reign. As the man, as everyone sees just the dragon hands peering down, as they see the man jump down, as the dragon goes back to his summoning realm, as the person lands on the ground, before then. Landing, it, making a crater, a giant thud that is heard throughout Konoha. As the ev as everyone begins to walk around to see who was in the crater, with Donzo, um, Tsunade, and obviously Jiraiya being there in the forefront of this. As the man walks out of the crater, as the two, as the two, as the three people ask, "Who are you and what are you doing here in Konoha?" As not as Naruto and are using a um, voice changing. Changing his voice using chakra, say, "Oh, the toads didn't tell you that I was coming." As he says, "So you're the person the toads sent." Naruto says, "Yes." Before then, slowly dropping. Before then, slowly getting the chakra out of his voice so that it changes back to normal. Before removing the mask, and then his hair changes from yellow, and the back of it, whereas in the ponytail, is now red. As Naruto says, "It's nice to see you again, Shinade." And Pervy saves. As both of their eyes widen, so does Donzo. As Donzo tells his men to stay back, that if this person is who he thinks he is, and he looks like this, it means he knows his heritage. As it's the front for forefront of his hair is like Minato's. It's spiky. It has the bangs and everything in the back. It's kind of like Jiraiya's hair. So, but in a but yeah, it's kind of like Jiraiya actually. As Naruto says, it's nice to see you two again. This, as they hug Naruto very tight, as they say, we thought you died. Where have you been this whole time? And Naruto says, um, in a special place. And Danzo says, Uzumaki, where did you get that summon contract for the dragons? And Naruto says, why? He says, well, since you have it, it now belongs to Konoha, and it's now under Konoha possession. We recommend that you give it up. As Naruto would look at him saying, sorry, but... And belongs to my clan and my clan alone. As Danzo says, so you know. Naruto says, of course I know. Naruto looks at Pervy's age and Jiraiya says, and Jiraiya and Tsunade, we both have a lot of things to talk about. As they both feel a visage of death, 
like something bad is going to happen to them. Cause they look at Naruto, cause Naruto never calls them by that. Well, even though I just had him call her, call her Shinade, but you know. As Naruto begins to talk to Shinade and Jiraiya, asking them why didn't they tell him who his parents are, even though they knew. And better yet, why wasn't he promoted to Chunin as soon as Shinade came back to the village? That was another question I've been wondering myself. Naruto not only was able to fight the One Tails and beat his Jinchuriki with the help of a summon, which is something that we don't really see a lot with people who aren't at least Shoni level, as far as I can tell. Not only that, he went and helped fight Orochimaru and Kabuto. He defended the fifth Hokage. All at the age of 12 to 13. And you telling me this man was never promoted to Chuni? I'm just saying. All the things Naruto does, I believe he at least deserves to, when he came back to the village, should have already been a Chuni after when Tsunade came back with him. She should have promoted him. But no. They didn't want to promote Naruto. Like, why do they always hating on him? But anyways, that's beside the point. This Ryo says, he couldn't tell you who your parents are. You weren't supposed to know. It was... It was the third Hokage's decision. And you still abided by that, even after he died. He said, of course, Naruto. He was our sensei. Of course we would. And Naruto was, was sorry, saying, you two are very hopeless. And he says, now, back to the second question. This is, why would you have wanted to be promoted to Chunin? Why, would, why did you ask why won't you promote to Junior? You never. It says, don't you dare say I never showed it. As Naruto begins to go recall all the events that he has shown where he can definitely be promoted to Junior. Him, his fight against Haku, his fight against Zabuza, his fight against Orochimaru in the Force to Death, his fight against Gara, his fight against Neji, his fight against the Ch against Shukaku. Him summoning being trained by Jiraiya, his fight against Orochimaru and Kabuto. His fight against Sasuke. Well, he, he left after that fight. He kind of disappeared after that fight. But still, those are all the others are still examples of him should have been, or all examples showing that he should at least be tuning material. As Tsunade says, Naruto, I can't tell you why, but here. And she says, if you were able to summon what I think that is. If you're able to summon him and have, well, your hair in that way, that means you haven't lost a fight since you left. As he then throws Naruto a jacket, but this jacket isn't the tuning jacket. This is a Joni jacket. But he also recognizes this. This is his father's jacket. If Naruto smiles and says thanks. But no thanks. I already have my own special jacket. As Naruto reveals a jacket, which hasn't been seen in over 20-something years. The jacket of a um, Uzumaki, of a Uzumaki Shinobi, uh, or a Whirlpool Shinobi. As Naruto says, now, if you'll be excusing me, I have some places to go. They say, wait, you can't. As Naruto says, I have some places to go. Some people to visit. I'll be back in the village within the next two weeks. As Naruto leaves the village. As they say, wait, you can't just... But they're not going to stop him. Naruto has the most powerful summon in the world. Along with the toads. And what if Jiraiya was sensing within Naruto, Naruto has also had some Jutsu training. So Jiraiya is definitely not going to fight Naruto. So, we time skip to two weeks on to like a... Like, three days later, as Naruto has appeared in the village. As Naruto heads to the Kage Tower of this village, as Naruto enters, as Naruto says, Hmm, it's been too long, has it, has it, Kara? Hasn't it, Kara? As Gara will look up as he so unrecognizes that voice, as he says, Naruto? As Gara gets up and runs towards Naruto, as he hugs him, as he thought his only friend at the point, his first friend, more or less, had died. Naruto now uh, has guard back and says, It's nice to see you again after seven long years. Gara says, Yeah, it is. Now, this Naruto, I believe, if he's seven, he's 19. 
and he has not yet met himself. But this Naruto is extremely strong. And Naruto and Asgard, how's he been? Asgard says he's been doing good. Because he just recently got at a council meeting with his with the elders and uh, uh, council members and not too long ago. And now this is odd. Those must suck. Well, I came to check on my friend. And it seems that you're doing good. How about we go out to celebrate? As Gar says, that sounds like a good idea, Naruto. Before Gar would call it a day... And him and Naruto will go out and celebrate it. And this will continue on until the next day. As Naruto re um, um, met up with Kankuro and Tamari, obviously being, you know, one of Gar's first friends, they're extremely happy to see that he's back. Gar seem seems to be sad. Sad that Naruto was gone. But now that Naruto's back, he's extremely happy. As they continue to talk, a village, a shinobi walks in and says, Hokaze Kage, the village is under attack by the Akaski. As Naruto and Gara begin to get serious, as Naruto says, I'll help you out with this one, Gara. As Gara and Naruto begin, Gara then makes a sand cloud under him as, and under Naruto as they both begin to float up to the sky where they then are met by two Akaski members. One is a blonde haired man with, the, with a bang in front of his eye with a ponytail, and the other seems to be a short man. Very short man, and what they can tell by the chakra being seems to be in a puppet. Well, Naruto at least. As Naruto then summons a sword, a very black sword that seems to be oozing off black smoke. As Naruto then says, "Hmm." As Naruto then puts the sword on his side. As Naruto then asks, "Why are you two here?" Says, huh, who are you? As Naruto says, you may not know me, but I'm Naruto Uzumaki. As they both say, the Kaiyubi Jinchuriki, huh? Well, it seems we get to take in two Jinchurikis for, instead of just one. As the both of them begin to attack Naruto and, um, so and Gara. <clears throat> As Naruto... As Naruto then begins to say, you know, it was very pitiful of you to think that you can attack me. As Daedra sends out a giant clay bird at Naruto to explode. But something would happen when it comes in contact with Naruto's sword. It explodes, but doesn't seem to harm Naruto. As Naruto says, you know, this sword, I added some special seals to it. I'll, just, I'll give you one. One is it that it absorbs whatever attack that is sent at me that the sword comes in contact with. It absorbs it. And then when it outputs it, it puts outputs it at a total of a thousand times stronger than what it's supposed to be. As Naruto then swings his sword down on Datara. As Datara then is flung off of his bird with an explosion, off of his giant dragon with an explosion. So is Sorcery. As, they, as Sorcery falls to the ground, where he now has to fight Gara, where there is more sand. As Deku, as not Deku, as Naruto is now fighting Datara. As Datara is on the ground, he sees, ah, he sees, notices that his arm is bleeding. You, what did you do? I kind of blew your arm off, if I'm being honest. Why aren't you affected? You were right there. Well, the sword emits another. There's another suit that protects me from any attack that the other seal unleashes. So no matter what, I am never caught in a crossfire. As Naruto then disappears, as Naruto appears behind Dator, as Dator falls to the ground, as one of his legs had been disappeared, but he's in an immense amount of pain. His skin is now turning gray. As it begins to crawl up his body, he says, what are you doing to me? As Naruto says, well, this sword seems to have a special ability. Anytime it cuts someone, it brings them closer and closer to death. And now that you've been cut with it, more than once, you are being brought closer to death. As Dato looks at his arm and notices that it's turning gray and it's all the way up to his shoulder. Stun you. As Dato begins to, with his one arm, actually, no. Dator with his one arm would remove his chest, uh, remove his shirt, before, not his chest, before then grabbing a hold of a, sh of, um, what is it called? When they, 
a stitch to some of the stitches on his chest. As Dator slowly feeds, um, undoes the stitches, and it reveals another mouth. As Dator feeds it some chakra along with some of his clay. As Dator says, Well, if I'm gonna die here, so are you. As Naruto then says, Huh? As Naruto then expresses his sword within Dator's heart. You know, you should never take your eyes off your opponent. As Dator falls to the ground, dead, as his chakra is cut off. As the attack will no longer work. As Naruto cuts off Daedra's other arm. As Naruto can see a seal, um, a seal on the ring. A hidden seal. Naruto decides to keep the ring. As he brings out a scroll for one of his um, seals on Daedra are inscribed on it. As Naruto seals the ring in the hand inside of that scroll. As Naruto. Then decides to check up on Gara. As Naruto takes up on guard to see the guard had already defeated Sorcery. <clears throat> As Naruto says, well, guard, I see that that is take care and taken care of. But if you, since we both know that since we defeated them, then that means the Akatsuki is going to send more powerful Shinobi after you. As Naruto then touches Gar on the hand before um, Gar sees a seal appear. As Gar says, what's this? Naruto says, this is the Jutsu of my father's. <clears throat> Just send Chakra into that seal and I'll appear. It's like a reverse summoning. You you could say that, but it's very much different. As Naruto would decide to leave, as as Gara um and Tamari and Kankuro and the Sand Village see Naruto off. As Naruto has now become a a um has now become a hero again, not only to a country, but to a village. This is one country and one village, being the country, the land of waves, which I believe was actually a country. Yes, it's the land of waves, and then the head of sand village. Even though Naruto is a Konoha Shinobi, Naruto is viewed as a hero by these people. As Naruto, within the next two weeks, or well, within the next week, would actually make it back to Konoha, and will be um, greeted by a welcoming party, being consisting of the Konoha 11, or actually... At this point, it's the Konoha 10, because there's no Naruto, so there's only Neji, Tenten, Lee, Sakura, Ino, Shikamaru, Choji, Kiba, Shino, Hinata. Yeah, the Konoha 10. And Naruto says, hey guys, how are you How are you doing? They said, hey Naruto, you're back. And Sakura runs up to try to hug Naruto, only for Naruto to to sidestep her as he runs up and then high fives um, um high fives the person that he realized was his true best friend shikamaru as naruto says hey shika how you been and shikamaru says i've been doing good naruto you know you really scared us had us all thinking you were really dead naruto says that was never my true intention but i had to get stronger so i stayed away where did you go as Jiraiya steps in and says, Naruto went to the land, to the hidden, the whirlpool village, the land of the Uzumaki clan. And Naruto says, so you know about that. As Jiraiya says, kid, I was alive. I was obviously alive during the time of us being allies with that village. I was alive when they were destroyed. They say destroyed. As Naruto says, yeah, I'm the last of my clan. And currently, the Kage, technically the Kage, and was the next in line heir to the role of clan head of my own clan after my mother obviously which shocks everyone as Naruto then touches a seal on as a cloak and a hat appears on Naruto I'm the Uzukage 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 kind of sounds like Uzukage but the Uzukage kind of anyways as Naruto takes the hat off as Tsunade says, are you leaving Konoha? As Naruto says, no. I want to expand Konoha all the way to Whirlpool. I've taken every single scroll and thing from Whirlpool, so no one should be able to get anything that belongs to the Uzumaki clan. It all belongs to me and me alone. Well, me and the last two members of the Uzumaki clan. As Rice says, last two, as Naruto says, apparently there's one in the Hidden Rain Village, which was shock Jiraiya, as he had thought his student had died, and there's only one Uzumaki in the Hidden Rain Village that he knows of, Nagato. 
as the other one sucked, but it's, it's not says remember it's Naruto, but then says wait, other there's another one Naruto. Where's this person? And Naruto says, well, according to Gamamaru, he's she's currently in the hands of Orochimaru. But I'll kill that snake, and then I'll. But before he could do that. A bird lands on him, but Naruto recognizes this as one of the birds from the Hidden Sand Village. As on it, Naruto reads a message from Gara. as it details a meetup between Sasori and a spy within Orochimaru's ranks. As Naruto says, Shinade, I'm gonna need a team. Shinade says, The team for what? To kill Sasuke Uchiha and to kill Orochimaru, which shocks everyone, especially Sakura. And Sakura says, What? Naruto, you can't kill Sasuke. As Naruto said, Sasuke is a traitor, Sakura. Not only while I was gone, I was reading up on all the laws of a shinobi village, and obviously, since Sasuke betrayed the village, whether it was willingly or not willingly, he still hasn't came back, which means that he's most likely a traitor. And, you know what we do to traitors? We put them down. Sasuke will be put down today, or in the next, in the next couple of days. As Naruto says, I want Kakashi. I want Shikamaru. I want Neji and give me Eno. As Sakura says, I want part of this mission. As Naruto says, no. And Naruto says, from what I can tell, it's a mission concerning both Sand, sand and Konoha. Seeing as how Orochimaru betrays the Sid and Sand villages years ago and forced them into a war with Konoha. They will be sending over two people, Konkuro and Tamari, to help in this mission. Jiren will nod, and Shinade will say, well then, it'll be gathered. As Naruto nods, as Sakura walks up to Naruto before slapping him and walking away, crying. Naruto, Sakura can't believe it. Naruto's giving up on Sasuke. Naruto never gives up on anything. As Sasuke, um, as, not Sasuke, as Naruto then says, well, that's, that was dramatic. As he says, but y'all, be prepared, we leave tomorrow to meet up with the sand team. As they all nod. As Tsunade decides to go get Kakashi. As Kakashi meets up with Naruto in the Hokage's office. As Kakashi says, Naruto, long time no see. Naruto says, yeah, yeah. Hurry up, Kakashi, be prepared, we leave tomorrow. He says, wow, you become a lot more serious. Naruto says, Kakashi, hurry up, I don't have time. I'll be waiting at the gate till until in the morning. Next Kakashi is not. Before Naruto would then head to the gate. Before sleeping at the gate stand. The stand where the where the gate guards are at. He sleeps on top of it. As we wait for the next day. Uh this is where we go to the next day. As Naruto and his comrades as the comrades meet up to see Naruto sleeping and say to Naruto, wake up. As Naruto says you're all here. Good, let's go. To say where are we going? The place where the spy is to be at, the Tenchi Bridge. As um, <clears throat> as they all begin to head out, as they say, where are we meeting up with the sand team? At? And Naruto says there. As they all leave, and like a day or two later, they appear at the Tenchi Bridge with Konkuro and Tamari waiting on them, since they were a little bit closer than than Naruto and they were. I don't believe that's true. The real I had to be true. As Naruto will say, "Oh, good, you're you're already here." That's less time for that wastes less time. All right, <clears throat> Conqueror, do you have the puppet? As Conqueror will nod before then revealing Sasori's, I believe it was called Hiroko puppet, or basically his the puppet that he was always inside. As Naruto, um, we basically, uh, yeah, it was Hiroko. Anyway, as Naruto would then say that he's going to disguise himself as Sasori and to only make their move when ready. This may be their only chance to get to kill Sasuke and Orochimaru and Kabuto. As they would all die, as Naruto says, if anybody sp spots you guys, will be taking on Kabuto. Is the reason why I've gotten you all here. Conqueror, tomorrow you'll be helping me with the Rochimaru and Sasuke. 
Tomorrow, your affinity for wind is a natural counter. Me and your affinities for wind is a natural counter to Sasuke's lightning. And my affinity to water is a natural counter to his lightning. As Tabari and Conqueror would nod. As Naruto will get into the puppet and disguise himself as sorcery. As, um, a few minute, hours later, someone would arrive. As Naruto would begin small talk, as he then asked, Do you have the information? As a fool, the person can hand over the information. As it was revealed, this person was Kabuto, a Rochimaru would appear and says, My, my, Kabuto, to thank you of all people who have betrayed me. Well, you have a choice. You either stay with him or come with me. As Kabuto would um, turn on his chakra scalpels, before then swinging, cutting off sorceries or the Hiroko's, Hiroko puppet's head, as Naruto jumps out. Says, my, my, sorcery, what are you doing here? And with the team of Konoha. As Naruto drops the hand and as the Rochimaru says, and who are you? As Naruto says, hello, pedophile. It's been a very long time since I've seen you. Last time i seen you was when I fought you in Kabuto with Jiraiya. As they only know one person with blonde hair that fought them, which was, well, besides Shinada, it was Naruto. Says, QB. As Naruto says yes, and today you die. As Naruto, a sword appears in Naruto's hand, as Naruto signals for the rest of the people to come out. As Naruto says, we have our teams, now go. As everyone would then separate Kabuto from Orochimaru and Naruto, Tamara and Kankuro would head out to fight, would head towards Orochimaru. As Orochimaru seeing a sword would ask, what sword is that? Naruto says, this is the first sword of the Shinigami, death. Mm -hmm. I always thought death was either the Shinigami or a person who worked for the Shinigami, but to learn that it was a blade, that's an incredibly powerful sword that I'm going to have to take from you. As, um, as Orochimaru then brings out the Kusanagi sword, before then clashing blades with Naruto, before he would then have to dodge a fan, a, a bunch, an air attack from Tsunade, before then also dodging a slashing attack from Kakuro's puppets. This continues on. Not, uh, Kakashi's team consisting of Shikamaru, Ino, Neji, um, Ino, Neji, Shikamaru, and Kakashi. Yeah, I believe that's all I chose. I might be leaving someone out. But yeah. They would all have cornered Kabuto. Kabuto says, I can't fight them all. As Kabuto would try to, but at least, he would try to escape, only for him to notice that he was in a Genjutsu. This Genjutsu was powered by something, because he could not break it, even if it was a sh He had fought Sasuke many times and had learned to break out of Sharingan Genjutsus, but this seemed much, much stronger. As everyone looks at Kakashi, as Kakashi's eyes are now in a pattern, in a different pattern than a normal Sharingan. Sakashi had used his Mangekyo to power up a Genjutsu. Not a Genjutsu specific to the Mangekyo, but just a Genjutsu powered by the Mangekyo. That should be strong enough to keep him there and for now. Now kill him. As everyone would not before then, um, before Shikamaru would then capture Kagato and his, um, and his shadow, before Ino would use the mind transfer Jutsu. Before Neji would then strike, um, Kon uh, Kon not Konkuro. Kabuto in all most of his points except for his brain and his heart, leaving Kabuto paralyzed as Ino then leaves from his body as he grabs her body after feeling the pain that Kabuto had felt. Says, Wow, Neji, you are pretty rough. Neji says, Sorry, but we can't risk him getting away. As Kakashi said, begin as everyone then hears chirping versus Kabuto, Kakashi finally releases the Genjutsu on Kabuto. As Kabuto realizes he can't move. This is the end for him. As Naruto, not Naruto, as Kakashi then delivers a lightning blade straight through Kabuto's heart, killing him then and there. As Kurochimaru sees this, becomes angered. As he then releases the bunch of chakra, pushing Tamari and Kankuro back, but Naruto stood strong. He was not moved even a little bit. As Orochimaru tries to clash blades with Naruto, before he sees, feels chakra being inputted in the blade, as Orochimaru begins to input chakra into the blade too, but something weird is happening. Naruto blade basically broke the kids Kuzanagi. He asked, how was that possible? Naruto says, I added very many seals to this blade. 
You see, one of the seals basically stores, um, basically multiplies the kinetic energy that the sword is being, um, being basically exposed to, and then multiply it by very, very many. I would say around a thousand, maybe two thousand, if possible. I could push it all the way up to a million, but that would break the seal. And it took me so long to put the seal on. It took me days of nonstop, um of non-stop writing seals on the uh, blade for me to get it to work. And then another stores of potential energy and releases that. So when, since the blade is constantly in a seal where time works differently, it's constantly gathering potential energy. And it releases that in a slash. But I have not activated that seal. And as Naruto then cuts off Orochimaru's arm. When Orochimaru shed his skin, he realizes his arm is gone. He says, why can't I get my arm back? Naruto says this sword it counters immortality if you can say you see this sword was the first weapon of the Shinigami and has ability anything it cuts begins to experience death slowly until they experience death in its full in its full glory of sorts if you want so now that I cut you your body is slowly dying on you the nerves that where your arm is at are now dead and you won't be able to reattach that limb so <clears throat> As Orochimaru this says, damn it, I have to get out of here. Four body kills down on one of on his last hand before then saying, summoning Jutsu. I believe it was Quintuple Rashomon. Before three walls appears. Naruto says, huh, the summoning of the first Okage. As Naruto, without Orochimaru's noticing, Naruto will begin to glow yellow. Yellow and orange like as if he was on fire. As the Konoha team and the Sand team sees this, as Naruto begins to hold his hand out, as everyone sees a purple orb begins to form, as Naruto says, "Tell Beast Bomb!" Before then, running towards the um, the Rashomon, before then putting his hand out as he destroys the Rashomon. As Naruto is now entered KCM, as this Tell Beast Bomb is a lot stronger than the four tells to Tell Beast Bomb that Naruto would have used in canon. And since Naruto has had, well, well over six years to training with the QB and his power at his fullest max, Naruto has improved everything a lot stronger, made everything a lot stronger than what it would have been when he first got the form and when, when his um, improvement with it throughout the war. As Naruto begins to follow Orochimaru before dropping the KCM, well, after dropping the KCM, so Orochimaru went sent him. As Naruto will follow Orochimaru into his base, using seals to silent and to seal off his presence completely, so no one, not even the strongest of sensors, can sense him. Not even nature energy itself could help sense him. As Naruto follows Orochimaru, as Na Orochimaru appears in the room, Orochimaru says, Sasuke, I'm leaving now. Sasuke says, where's Kabuto? As Orochimaru says, dead. He says, and who did this to you? As Naruto appears, he says, hey Sasuke. Which causes Sasuke to stop. He turns around to see his rival, Naruto. Very nice to. But before he could do anything, Naruto would have appeared with the blade right to Sasuke's neck. Or with a scythe, cutting off Orochimaru's head. As Orochimaru would then regurgitate himself. As Naruto says, I wouldn't move. Well, your precious Uchiha might die. Well, he's gonna die anyway, but still. As Orochimaru would say, no, no, no. As he begins to release Chakra, before Naruto would then begin to release Chakra himself. Before then placing a seal on, on before channeling, making a seal with his Chakra, and channeling it through the blade, before placing it on Sasuke. And Sasuke realizes his Chakra has been cut off. Sasuke yells, what did you do? As he jumps back, cutting Naruto's blade, but uh, trying to put Naruto's blade apart. He even had a, um, tried to add lightning chakra, but his sword didn't do anything. He barely even moved Naruto's blade. It's as if Naruto was physically stronger than him. As Uchimaru says, what did you do? You're ruining everything. As Naruto says, I'm ruining a lot of things for you. As Naruto begins, as he then says, you know Sasuke, I cut off your chakra. So now, um, 
I use the seal to cut off your chakra sword until that seal is removed, which is, since I'm the creator, I only have a seal key to it. You won't be able to access your chakra ever again. It's just going to begin seething in anger. Get rid of it, Naruto. I have to kill, I kill Itachi. Huh, I don't care anymore, Sasuke. See, today you're going to die. Since you are a traitor. To Hold on. And so are you, Orochimaru. But before Orochimaru could do anything, Naruto would have cut Orochimaru again. Right on his eye, actually. As Orochimaru will grab his eyes, they begin to bleed. The Roti Mario will try to regurgitate himself, but his eyes are now gone. Both of them. Like, yeah. his, his vision is gone. As his, as his eyes began to flake away. As, like, how Water Ahead was brought back to life after reanimation. After, um, he was the, um, Rene Rebirth with the Edo Tensei. He had his eyes crumpled away. Kind of like that. That's kind of what's happening. He's crumbling away. It's kind of the effect of the blade. As Rotimaru says, What have you done? All of this work for nothing. As Orochimaru would transform into his full form, that form that he used against Itachi when he came out of Sasuke's curse mark. Naruto says, This is what you look like. And Naruto says, I have something for you. For biting his thumb and say, Summoning Jutsu! As a black dragon would appear. As Naruto says, Kaido, take care of the snake. I'll deal with you, Chiha. As Kaido would say, Yes, Naruto. Before Kaido would begin attacking Orochimaru, but Orochimaru is stuck there in fear. This is the legendary summon, the summon that is to be known to be stronger than all three summons, the strongest summon ever. N none of the summons by themselves could ever hope to compete with this summon, the dragon summon. As Orochimaru is standing there in fear, he doesn't know what to do. As Naruto says, You know, Orochimaru. Things could have gone a lot better for you. If you would have not just did what you did, you could have stayed in the village. You could have done your research the right way, but you did it the wrong way. So today you're gonna die. As the Roshi, as um, the snake is now down to his last head. As um, Kaido says, Naruto, he's all yours now. Before Naruto would then jump back and would then run towards Orochimaru before then stabbing Orochimaru directly. As Naruto begins to send Chakra into the blade, not to any of the cells, but to the blade itself. This it speeds up the process of killing Orochimaru. Shimon says, I can't die this way. I'll come back. Naruto says, uh, no, this blade destroys that. Most definitely. It destroys your soul and every fragment of it. Including those that are in the curse seal. For shoving the sword all the way through Orochimaru. For bringing it out. As the Orochimaru falls to the ground. As Sasuke begins to drop to the ground in pain. The curse mark is disappearing. No, Naruto. What are you doing? My power. As Naruto says goodbye, Sasuke. Before cutting off Sasuke's head. And taking out the Sharingan. Sealing them away. It's Naruto. Uh, as the group. That Naruto had, um, was, came with had arrived. As Naruto would say, mission is complete. Destroy the base. And gather as much information as you can. I'm looking for someone. Who works for, who's been taken by Orochimaru. Kari Uzumaki. Find her. Give me, if you find information on her, give it to me. As they were all now before spreading out, before destroying the base. As Naruto seals Sasuke's body and head into a separate skull. If the blade wasn't killing Sasuke was dead, so the blade wouldn't really kill him already. You can't kill what's dead. I mean, you could, but still. Well, no, you really can't. Can you? Yeah, that's the thing about anime. You never know what can happen. Anyways, they would, after this is done, they would all head back to the base. Naruto got information on where Karen Karin is. I believe she's in a base close to um to Kumo. They're gonna say that she's in a base close to Kumo. So. Naruto would decide to pay for a mission to go by himself with Kaka well, to go with Kakashi and Sakura to Kumo. As when Naruto and his team will return back to Konoha, with the Sand team returning back to Kun uh, to um to Suna with a certain blade being the blade of Kusanagi, along with Sasuke's sword too. As Naruto decided to give it to them. They may not be able to repair it, but 
it's still pretty useful. And they can use they can melt it down and rebuild it into a new blade with the same capabilities. As um Naruto heads back to the village. As when Naruto will tell Sonata to count call a meeting with the Shinobi head, clan heads, the civilians, and the elders, which we're going to be bringing in the council. So, Naruto will then um, tell Sonata to call a council meeting. That he his, their mission is not complete. He says, and bring Sakura too. That's because he says, Naruto, what are you doing? As Naruto says, she needs to see the truth. She needs to grow up. I thought Tsunade would have remedied that with her. But I guess he didn't. And Tsunade says, I really tried not to. I really tried. But the min second you mentioned Sasuke and that you were going to kill him, she really reverted back to her old fangirl estate. Sato sighs. No. I guess no one could be blamed but myself. I am sorry for that, Tsunade. Grandma Tsunade. Sonata says, oh, what's with that? Thought you stopped calling me that. Sonata says, no. You will always be Grandma Sonata. The perfect sage will always be perfect sage. As with the council, Naruto would appear in the council room. As Naruto would bring out a scroll, the council then ask, what is it that Naruto wants? Why is he here? As Naruto then brings out a scroll, it's, um, Naruto then unseals something. This is the head of, well, of Orochimaru, or the body of Orochimaru. Naruto says, Orochimaru has been killed by me. As every, as the other, I'm going to say this event, let's stand up and say, no, it's not true. There's no way that you, a demon, could kill Orochimaru, the snake son. You know what, maybe you could, just because you're a demon. As Naruto say, you know, I'm going to let that slide, just this once. But, no, I killed Orochimaru along with the help of my summon. You can ask Kashi, they witnessed the battle. They saw the battle from afar, but they saw me kill him. I did not use an ounce of the cubic power when I killed the Rochimaru. I mean, he didn't use it when he killed the Rochimaru. He basically used his own power. Kind of. Like, he used it when he fought him, but killing him is completely. Hey, actually, he says, no, never mind. I actually did. As I say, see? Demon. As if they made a point. Anyways, Naruto will move on. As Naruto would then bring out another scroll and says, What is in this scroll? As Naruto would then unseal it, everyone is shocked. There is Sasuke Uchiha. As Naruto says, Sasuke Uchiha has been dealt with. And it's no longer a problem. As the as everyone begins to go go crazy. Is the Shinobi Council and Tsunade are extremely happy. Going crazy and starting to celebrate that the elders and the civilian council are extremely pissed. Their Sas the Sasuke, the one who is supposed to bring back, you know, be um, bring honor to the Uchiha clan, has been killed. As they decide to call for Naruto's execution. And Tsunada says, no, no, I would not allow that. As Naruto says, even if you could kill me, I doubt it. None of you are strong enough to even capture me. And I won't go willingly. Even if the Okage ordered it herself. And I killed Asani. What does that mean? This is one then realized the implication. Naruto killed Asani and in an Uchiha. Naruto is at least Sani level in when it comes to terms of power. Without and and they're still thinking that this is with the Kiwi's power, but Naruto f only used the Kiwi's power momentarily when fighting Orochimaru. And it was only to get past the Rashomon. As Naruto will say now, as Dazen would then ask, where are Uchiha and Sasuke's eyes? As Naruto would then say, oh, they disintegrated. As they say, disintegrated. As Naruto would come up with a lie, saying, well, Orochimaru placed the seal on Sasuke that in case he died and Orochimaru wasn't able to recover his body, he's guessing that Orochimaru put a seal on Sasuke that would destroy the eyes so that no one could get them. As Danza will be extremely mad about this. So Orochimaru was supposed to come back to Konoha to help him take over it when his plans were complete. As Danzo grits his teeth, Danzo walks up and leaves the council. Sonata says, Well, Naruto, you will be paid for Orochimaru's and Sasuke's bounty on their head for being woke men. Well, for being ninja anyway. As Naruto says, thank you.
<clears throat> it says thank you. Uh, she says, uh, uh, and she says, what will I ever say? Oh, and by the way, Naruto, <clears throat> you kind of have an announcement for you. And Naruto then asks, what is it? And so we decided to make you an official clan head of Konoha, the clan head of the Uzumaki clan. As everyone hears this, is they're like, what? As, the, as he says, yes. Naruto will be clan head of the Uzumaki clan, since Naruto is one of the last few members. As Naruto says, speaking of, I would like to talk to you about a mission in your office. As Naruto says, alright, council meeting over. Before heading to her office, where her and Naruto will begin to talk about the second mission. And I'm going to be picking up in this mission and the rest of it in the next movie, which will be a two-part movie. So I can put out one part of the movie now and one part later. So it's going to be a two-part movie. I hope you guys have enjoyed the What If. I will see you guys later in the second part. I will see you guys later. Peace and goodbye. Chukage out. Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to another What If. Being What If Deku was... Um, no, no. What if Naruto was a ceiling god? I'm sorry, I confused it with the with the My Hero What If because after this I will be filming a My Hero What If movie because this week will be a movie week which will happen like maybe one one once every month maybe once every two to three months it really depends because I will be setting up a schedule for now just in for the near future up until school starts again and I have to change the schedule around to make me more available to film, to record and post videos. And since I'm currently out of school, I can post as much as I want so I can do YouTube as much as possible. So, yes. Now, let's continue where we left off with the What If Naruto Was a Ceiling God. This will be movie two, or if 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 even that, it might be just one big movie, but it most likely be two movies. Not it most likely actually. Think about it, be one movie. So <clears throat> yes. Now, Deku um dang, Naruto would have went to the office of Tsunade before then asking Tsunade for a mission to investigate one of Orochimaru's bases. As Tsunade would obviously approve it, but she would ask Naruto why. As Naruto would then tell Tsunade that one of the last few clan members that he has alive with the Uzumaki clan is there. As Tsunade would have the guilty look on her face. As Naruto would say, why do you look so guilty? As Tsunade would say, there's another Uzumaki alive. You talking about the one in the Hidden Rain Village? As, Naruto, as he says, no, Naruto. I'm talking about the one in Konoha. As Naruto is out, you know, in the street, because he's like, where has this person been at? As Tsunade says, you're kind of looking at her. As Tsunade says, I'm both for Uchiha, I mean, dang, wrong, wrong clan. U um, Uzumaki and Senju descent. My grandmother was Mito Uzumaki. And I'm kind of related to you. I didn't really find out how close of a relation until we until after you died. Uh, I was waiting to bring it up. Apparently, Mito's father, uh, Mito, um, Mito had a brother who had not Kushina's Kushina, who had Kushina's say mother, who had do who eventually had Kushina, who had Naruto. As Naruto says, so you're. <clears throat> you're an Uzumaki, but also a Senju. Well, I understand why you claim the Uzum the Senju clan name because you're the last one. But why not also claim the Uzumaki clan name? As Sonata says, I never really had any real ties with the Uzumaki clan like it, like you did, Naruto. If I'm being honest, I had no ties with him. Naruto says, so you just forego your you're one of your clans. You chose one clan over the other, even though you had nothing to do with it. You may not have, well, even though you didn't have much to do with it. You know what I learned, Tsunade? There's one thing. The Uz uh, Uzumaki clan valued one thing overall, which is family. 
I don't know what went wrong with you, but obviously we don't value those things. I'll be leaving on my mission now. As Tsunade, as Naruto pays Tsunade for the mission, as for himself, as he then leaves Konoha. Leaving Tsunade was something to think about. As Naruto begins walking, as a week later, or running through, or running through to the his destination, as a week later, Naruto would arrive, and and on the well, not in the house. Yeah, actually, in the house, very at, very in the land of lightning. Actually, when I be in the land of lightning, where Kumo is based is is based at. As Naruto would have um, gotten some information about where Karin's base was, Naruto would have followed the directions from the one of Orochimaru's maps before then in going to the base and entering it. As he would then be greeted by a redhead. As the redhead asked, "Who are you? What are you doing here?" As Naruto would then say that he is Naruto Uzumaki, which shocks Karin, as he says, "And you're the last family I have left." As Karin says, "What?" As Naruto says, yes, I am an Uzumaki. If you're wondering what about the red hair, I don't, as you can see, I do have it, but that's only because I dyed it. But I have, I am half Uzumaki. I get my hair color from my father, which, you know, kind of shocks Karin. And Naruto says, yeah, and I would like you to come back to Konoha with me to rebuild the Uzumaki clan. Which Naruto kind of knows what they sound like, but at the time, like I said, at the time, that's not what it is. As Karin blushes a little bit, like, what? You, you can't just ask someone that. Not just, things would just not like that. If you would, I would like you to come back to the corner to maybe find someone to settle down with and, you know, have a kid and help me rebuild the Uzumaki clan that way. As Karin says, oh. Well, sorry, Naruto, but I can't. Orochimaru, Orochimaru is dead. I killed him myself. If you want proof, here's proof. As Naruto then brings out something. Orochimaru's head. Something that he actually kept to himself. He gave them the body, but not the head. As Karin says, but I can't. But what? Kabuto is dead. Sasuke Uchiha is dead. As Karin says, what? Naruto says, Sasuke Uchiha is dead. I killed him myself. Karin is angered. Why did you kill Sasuke? Naruto says, first of all, Sasuke was a traitor to the village. So whether or not he was killed or not, has um, so he would have been either killed later on or not, um, anything. Anyway, why are you so defensive of him? As Naruto begins to read Karin's body language, for saying you liked Sasuke, didn't you? I know someone like that, just in Kona, who begged me, who begged me to bring him back. I brought him back in a body bag, but brought him back. I kept my promise. But why do you like Sasuke? As Karin would then tell Naruto about Sasuke saving her and the forest of death. As Naruto says, so he saved you and you developed a crush. Wow. That's pretty stupid, as Naruto says, but anyways, as Karin says, I'm not leaving. Naruto says, you don't really have much of a choice. As Karin says, what? As Naruto says, well, <clears throat> I am of the Uzumaki clan head lineage. And as one of the last three Uzumakis left, and the one only one with that lineage in them, you, under order of the Uzumaki clan, you will be returning back to Konoha with me. I suggest you gather your things. Unless you want to be hunted down by the world for no being known as a as an Uzumaki, As you know what the other Shinobi nations did to our clan, and they found out there are more besides me. Obviously, then they will come after you, and they will find you no matter what base you go to. Since Rochimaru is dead, all of his bases have been discovered. As Karin realizes, she truly has nowhere to go. Karin says, fine, I'll go with you. Naruto says, good. That was a very good choice. Now, pack your things. As Naruto says, oh. And release him, by the way. He'll be joining us. As Karin asks, how did he? As Naruto says, I can sense his chakra. And I can also see all the seals that are in, that are surrounding that containment cell to dampen his chakra. Or to, um, that uh, forces him into that form of water, whatever it is.
No, better yet, I have a better explanation. I see the seals. These seals are a forceful kick again Kai at activation. I'm guessing either his kick again Kai allows him to turn invisible or he can turn himself into water. The car in hearing this would not. He says, yes, the second is true. He could turn himself into water. As Kari releases, he gets to. Yes, yeah, not until sees this, he says, dude, put on some pants. As Naruto seemingly grabs some pants from nowhere and throws them at Sea Pitsu. Naruto says, Would you like to join us on um in Konoha? As Sigetsu says, Nah, no thanks. I have some seven boys to go and get correct. Let me guess, the seven boys of the mist. Yeah, and I'll start with Zabuza since I heard since our last time I heard he was dead. But this greatly angers Naruto. As Naruto then grabs Sigetsu and pins him against the wall. As Naruto places a seal as we get to, as Naruto says, now look here, you won't be touching Zabuza's sword. You got that? No one will. Better yet, I have a better plan for you. As Naruto activates the seal that he just placed on Sigetsu, as he gives him orders to protect Zabuza's sword and make sure no one gets it with him for the rest of his life. Before he would then move, so we get to it. Now, Naruto isn't necessarily evil in his way. If I did just pretend if he's doing something evil, but it's more or less Naruto is more ruthless, more shinobi like than how he would have normally been. As Karin would then say that she's not ready. As Naruto would, as Karin then sees sees as a um, a ceiling array would then be well, not a seal, but markings begin to spread from Naruto's arm, but from Naruto's hand to around his arm. To barely on his, to covering around his eye, and going even further. And Karin asks, "What is this?" Not to say as well. Um, I read a seal. I read about something called the Karma Seal, and I created my own version of it. Except, well, uh, the Karma Seal can um can use space time transform um not transformation. Space time um, can travel through space and time, along with absorbing and um, absorbing ninjutsu, and in some cases can redistrib redistribute that jutsu out, even probably even stronger than before. And as Naruto says, this is my own version. You see, the original version basically is kind of like the curse mark. It allows that person to fully resurrect by taking over that person's body slowly, as their DNA is forcefully overriding the other person's DNA of whose body they place the mark on. Except mine doesn't do that. Sorry about that. I'm just trying to get some water. As Kari will notice, Naruto opens a portal before then disappearing within that portal with Kari. So they appear in front of Konoha's gates as Naruto walks to Konoha and walks towards Tsunade's office. As Naruto says to Nani, I return from the mission. As Naruto says, here's another Uzumaki clan member. And I would like to reinstate the Uzumaki clan with two active members, actually. As Tsunade not. As Tsunade then tells Naruto that something is happening. The Akoski is on the move. They've just recently gotten the information. With the Akoski that, um... The Akatsuki is mad at Naruto. They're coming for him in full force. They're launching an all skip all out war against Kona for what it did to their group. As Naruto not only killed Orochimaru, who and took his um, ring, which means that now they're not able to get more another member in there. He killed Data and took his ring. Gara killed Sasori, but Naruto took. Data um, took Sasori's ring also. I never stated that, but he did take it. As Naruto then also, um, also having killed Data and Orochimaru was big and killed Sasuke, which was a hindrance in Obito's plan. At the time of going by Tobi, it was a hindrance in his plan that Obito decided to make the Naruto Shuriken pay by going to full out war against the Kona. As Naruto says, how long do we have to prepare for them? As Tsunade says, 12 months at best, a year at best, 6 months at worst. 
not to announce and foretelling Connie that they're going to be taking the trip. That's not to tell Tsunade that he's going to be doing a he's going to be paying for a training trip to take Connie back to Uzu where they are uh, to the uh, Whirlpool Village where they will be training for the next six months to prepare her to help fight in this war. As Tsunade says, but no, so you just got Naruto says this wasn't up for discussion. Whether I just got back or not, I'm leaving again. At least this time you know I'm alive. And I'll come back alive. Now come on, Kari. Kari, let's go. Before Naruto says, Naruto, you have to pay. As Naruto says, just put it, just take it out of my bank account. As Naruto leaves Konoha again, it heads towards Uzu before using a space time seal because he kind of has to have been there to the place before using it. It was also one of the drawbacks of using his karma seal for traveling, for space time traveling. Or traveling, um, well, yeah, using um, space time ninjutsu. Ah, there we go. That's what I was trying to say earlier space time ninjutsu. So. Naruto who and Karin who appears in Uzu, Naruto will tell Karin to get used to it as he says pick out one of the buildings and live there. Karin says that's just a waste of space, why not just live in the same building with multiple rooms? As they would do so. As Naruto will begin car training Karin in other in the training of for Jutsu and then article in Jutsu, Ninjutsu, Water Jutsu and Kenjutsu. As Naruto finished, um, as Naruto during these six months, he and Karin have gotten extremely close to each other, being the only two people there. And I mean, extremely close. At first, this was what what Naruto wanted. He only wanted to train Karin and hope that he. And when they went back to Kona to after the war, hope for her to find someone actually. But he never wanted Karin to, you know, be with him. Which is something Naruto is currently trying to avoid. As Naruto moves into a new building, as they continue on their training, and we're going to time skip to the end of the six months. It took Karin three months to fully master Kenjutsu. It took her around the last two um, two months to master her water jutsu, and she's still working on her fluent jutsu. She's gotten pretty good at it, but it's not a master in it, and it's definitely nowhere near Naruto. Naruto has been committing not godly acts of fluent jutsu, which I haven't yet shown, but Naruto has committed very many things, has done very many things with fluent jutsu. As Naruto returns back to Konoha with Karin, during the six months, as Tsunade then tells Naruto the bad news. While they were gone, the uh, Akatsuki had captured all the other Jinchurikis, except for Gara, who had came to Konoha for refugee without anyone know knowing. As Naruto asks Tsunade where is Gara, she says in his in his house, in his old apartment. As Naruto announces before taking Gara in there. As Naruto says, and how long before they attack? Couple days at most. It's not until now. So before then, taking Karin to um, his house, getting her settled in, and meeting up with Gara once again upon entering. Gara says, "Who's there?" It's not so says, "Hey Gara, how are you doing the place?" It says, "Oh, pretty good. Thank you for letting me stay here while you were gone." And so says, "Be honest, Gara, I didn't know, but I would have let you stay here anyway." As Naruto says, Gara, you have a couple days before the Akatsuki and getting ready while Karin is set on getting getting ready we need to train you on getting full use of your video as Gar says I can't Naruto you know I can't as Naruto says Shikaku may be crazy Gar but I believe that I believe in you that you can beat Shikaku and gain full control over your Biju. as Gar would nod before beginning his training and by the end of three days, Gara would have gotten his own Biju mode, similar to Naruto's KCM. They're gonna call um, SCM, Shukaku Chakra mode, and there's one only one version actually. There's only one version. Now I'll try to put up an image. I might not, but I'll most likely put them all up at the end of the video. As Naruto begins preparing, as he then tells Gara. Are you ready? And Scar says he's going to go to Suna to gather the forces, and they're going in this war together with Kona. It's not until now, before then going to the Okage Tower with Kari meeting up there. And before he enters the Kokage's um, office, Naruto is then pulled into a closet by Kari. 
Because Karin kisses Naruto. But then, then ask him, why has he been avoiding her for the last couple of months? And Naruto told Karin the truth. He didn't want Karin to fall in love with him. He didn't want Karin to like him in the way that she does. He knew she liked him that way, but he doesn't want that for her. He won't, just be, it's just the only reason she truly likes him is because of the fact that they were the only ones there. She hasn't gotten a chance to meet anyone else. Karin is saying, you know, Naruto, you're a really big idiot. You honestly can't see that I like you. But I'll have to force you to see. As Karin leaves with Naruto, dragging him into the Hokage's office. Before being debriefed with the, um, before actually, um, actually, um, the being debriefed and, uh, learning that Naruto will be heading the main force, tackling some of the, tackling the main leaders of the Akatsuki with Jiraiya, Tsunade, Sakura Kakashi, Guy, Asuma Kuranai, and Karin. As Naruto will not, as you heard that the rest will be taken down the others. Members of the Akatsuki being, I believe, since Osiri Deidre is dead, that leaves Hidam, Kakusu, Itachi, Kisame, Ping, Konan, Jetsu, Tobi. That's eight members. I almost miscounted, literally. I looked at my fingers and saw Aiden was about to put Satan on him. As no one told what not. So those main heavy hitters are Itachi, Kisame, not Kisame, Itachi, Deidre, no, no, Itachi, Pain, Konan, and Tobi. Those are the four main hitters that Naruto's team will be taking on. Oh, yeah, the six paths of pain also. Actually. So, Naruto will be taking them on. Naruto will take them on. As Naruto begins to head to war, as Naruto noticed in the war, people notices that that I was there. Um, the Shichikage is there, along with um, the Hidden Rain Village Shinobi, are heading this battle. We're going against Konoha. As Oinoki had basically been paying the Akatsuki and had actually wanted them to take the Jaturiki off of his hands. And now wants to wants to eliminate Konoha. Upon learning from Tobi himself that Naruto is the son of Minato. With what happened with Iowa during the third grade Shinobi War, obviously a lot of things will change. Um, obviously, I, um... Um, Onoiki would hold a grudge against Minato and won't want to destroy anything that Minato holds dear, being Naruto, being his last, his child. And they didn't look to the left, not, no, uh, no, not, yeah, and then see Kiri as, no, that, no, 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 actually, no, let's not do that, we're just gonna have Iowa. As they then see as the Sino forces appear besides Naruto. As Naruto says, God, can you take on the old, the old Kage? As Gar says, yes, but before, he, uh, yes, but Tsunade cuts him off and says, Gar will join Gar to with that. Her and Jirai will take on Unlucky. Gar stands no chance against him, whether he has a Biju or not. As Naruto and Gar will not. As they begin to rush, the battle starts. As Naruto then runs at the six paths of pain before entering Sage Mode. As Naruto had, had a seal on his body. That will basically gather nature energy for himself and basically create a whole new chakra system that he just has to tap into for nature energy. Or Senjutsu Chakra. As Naruto then um, then begins to run towards one of the paths of pain that had met him first. Before then throwing a punch with the path of pain clearly dodged. Before the path of pain is then sh hit to the side as if he had been hit by Naruto. As pain begins to wonder, what is this? As he know, he saw, he, he knows that he dodged that hit. As Naruto then jumps up, as Naruto, as everyone sees that something is glowing bright within Naruto's hand. As Naruto, as it begins to take form as electricity, as electricity then begins to take form. As Naruto has a seal for this, a lightning style seal, which basically converts the chakra into his hand into lightning. Chakra, he basically then just shapes the chakra into whatever he wants. 
Uh, as Naruto, as they didn't see as Naruto was basically holding a giant thunderbolt, kind of like Gear Five Luffy, but different. Look, as it's kind of exactly the same. It's kind of what I'm getting my inspiration for this move. As Naruto would then throw the lightning bolt down, this um sending the paths of pain flying. As Itachi then sends a Amaterasu at Naruto, as he has a grudge with Naruto for ruining his plans and killing his precious little brother. As Naruto meets Blades with Itachi, as Itachi says, why did you kill Sasuke? As Naruto says, Itachi, you know well that Sasuke fought very far from the path. He was not, uh, as Itachi says, it doesn't matter whether he fought from the path of a great good shinobi. He was my little brother, my precious brother. As Naruto says, Itachi, be honest, there is nothing precious about Sasuke. Sasuke become a criminal, had become obsessed with revenge. What do you think that would get Sasuke once his revenge was complete? As Itachi hears this, causing him to stiffen for a moment, and that moment is all Naruto needs. As Naruto then cuts Itachi, no, no, sends his blade directly through Itachi's heart. This is drops Itachi, but Itachi could try to use the Izanagi, but to learn that it doesn't work. As Itachi finally accepts death, he says, "Little brother, I hope you won't be mad at me on the other side." Mother, father, I'm sorry for what I had to do to bring peace to Konoha, even though it ended up causing more problems down the line. As Itachi finally dies, as Naruto is then met by a barrage of paper kunai, as Naruto is then met by a paper by a paper sword, as Naruto opens his hand, his left hand, as another seal comes out, as Naruto then says. Um. Then um uh, says fun, um ceiling parts, fire shuriken. As Naruto, as the shuriken, be, as the fire in his hand begins to take form, as multiple shuriken, as he begins to attack Kona. As Naruto then puts both hands together, as both the seals mix, as they make a, another seal, or no, the back of his hand, as the seal is on there. As Naruto then says water style. Of ceiling guards. Um, breaking down. As Naruto brings his arm down, as from there, it basically causes a. Um, from where his arm had been created, he had released a lot of moisture, a lot of water chakra. As the chakra begins to take form as water, as it basically hits the Akatsuki with or uh, Conan in pain and Toby with the force of a dam that had just been broken. As Naruto then, um, seeing that the um, water is there, as Naruto then says, water style. Um, well, I believe it was water fang drilling bullet. As Naruto, as the bullets then begin to pierce the other Akatsuki members, as Konan disappears into paper, the pains are eventually put into the King of Hell for them to be revived. Toby, it basically just fades to Toby. And Naruto says, well, then it won't be that easy, huh? So Naruto then says, then touches the seal on his right palm, on his right back, the back of his right hand. Earth style. <clears throat> Earth style. <laughs> You're really going to hate me for this. Earth style. Dang, I gotta think of a jutsu for a quick. Rampant overworld. Uh, Earth style rampant underworld. As Naruto um, began, as his arm begins to um, basically create, as Naruto sticks his arm into the earth and in, in front of him, he sticks it down under the dirt. As it begins to basically transform the, the environment of the earth around the Akatsuki members. As they then see as fire begins to shoot out from the earth. As if the earth itself is crying fire. No, that would be from the sky, actually. That's quite stupid. It's basically erupting right in those places. As they see that the earth is also flowing hot, as they see Naruto's other the um his other hand is also inside of the inside of the um earth. Ceiling arts. Lava style. Rampant underworld. It's basically when he combines the fire, um, fire jutsu along with uh, the earth style jutsu. The, the earth style rampant underworld basically changes it 
into a kind of like a volcanic a volcanic minefield of sorts where there are multiple places for an eruption to happen where Naruto creates that's what rampant underworld is and then um the lava style rampant underworld is basically what creates the landscape as if it was hell itself as Naruto then say uh touches promise he then um brings his arm up as he then wipes it across the earth as he then says fire style <clears throat> fire sphinx as I believe a sphinx is a type of big cat or a, um, a cat that is a predator a big cat as he begins to take form of this cat I think it's another word for a lynx if I'm not mistaken I'm going to make sure I'm correct on this oh ill never mind the sphinx is ba the cat is basically the hairless cat that we all be seeing that we all see So we're not, we're gonna say um fire style fire lynx or um what is another word for lynx? Um what is it called? Bobcat, fire bobcat or bobcat fire. Which is basically where it takes the form of a bobcat that is basically hunting its prey as the bobcats begin to grow bigger. It's not to say now. Sealing art Retribution. As all the seals on Naruto begins to glow, as they then sense a buildup of wind chakra within Naruto's normal chakra network that are isn't centered around the seals. As as they then see a final seal, actually that they never thought was there, a wind seal on Naruto that surrounds Naruto's mouth as it appeared. As Naruto begins to spew chakra into the sky, along with the other chakra nations beginning to flow flow up into the sky from from his attack, from the Radiant Gets attack, as Naruto says, now die. Before, <clears throat> before, um, they will all be attacked by the elements, with Toby barely made it, managing to escape. With Pain is now down, left with his diva path, Conan is no longer alive, due to the, the severity of the attack, as Pain says, Begins very angry. He says, "You'll pay for this." Almighty push. We're pushing Naruto away. As Gara says, "Naruto." As Naruto says, "Gara, I was quite wondering where you were going to help me." As Gara says, "You kind of amazed me with what you were doing, Naruto." Naruto says, "As Naruto then tells Gara here, no, no, I'm not going to have him do that." Naruto then tells Gara to um to take on pain as much as and to use that mode. As Gara begins to not glow, but begin to emit sand, as markings begin to spread across the sand, it's as if he had entered his a Biju state that they had not yet seen from any Shukaku Jinchuriki, or that has never been recorded in history from any Shukaku Jinchuriki. As Naruto enters KCM2, as Naruto, um, as Obito then says, fine, before then appearing in front of the original Nagato. Saying sorry, Nagato, but I'm going to need this more than you are. You can still use your path to pain without with this one eye before ripping the eye out of pain. As Nagato says, whatever, as long as we defeat them, I don't care whether I lose the Renin God or not. He'll pay for what he did to Koran. As Obito then puts the implants the Renin God in his in his empty eye socket before then summoning the Ghetto Mazo. As Obito then brings out the other Jinchuriki with these bees, more of uh, the other tail bees, um, not in their actually not in their initial state since there since there's nobody to do reanimation due to the ba or actually yes, but yet he would have them sealed away and then some white zetsus, which I know shouldn't be possible, but for this case we're gonna have it possible just so that it could be have a bit. No, no, we're not, we're not. I'm not gonna create an excuse for him to just have, you know. Version two um, states of Jinjutsuriki, so we're gonna have the full on Biju being under Obito's control. As Obito uses his running god to put them under Genji too. As Obito then forces the other Biju, the other nine, other seven Biju to attack. As it's just Gara, and it's just Shukaku and Kurama. As Naruto then transforms into Kurama, as Gara transforms into a stand construct of Shukaku. 
as you can clearly see Gara in it, and you can clearly see Naruto and the Avatar of the QB as they both begin rushing towards the Biju, taking them out, with Shikaku being surprisingly stronger than the others, now that he's basically essentially reached his full potential. And since the other Bijus have not yet reached that potential, we're just going to basically call them a little bit weaker. Shikaku will be able to compete with the three, with the two, with the four tails at most, but the other tail beasts will be taken care of by Naruto. As Naruto will then say, well then, try this on for size. As Naruto jumps out of the, jumped out of the, um, <clears throat> Out of the Kurama avatars, with the Kurama avatar holding down the other bijus, Naruto then brings out a sword. As Obito sees that this sword is covered in seals, as Naruto then stabs the Yuki before then saying, "Sealing art, beast containment." As he seals the eight tails within this sword, giving his sword a power, the power to use the eight tails chakra. As Naruto continues to do this for the other five, and the other, you know, yeah, the other, that's two, three, four, then there's seven. So, yeah, the other four Bijus, actually, being the seven tails, six tails, five tails. And those are the other three, actually. Seven, seven, eight, seven, eight, six, and five. Eight, seven, six, five. So, yeah. And those are four Bijus in total. As Naruto then begins taking them on, as he seals their, their chakra away, but Naruto then feels something. As Naruto is pulled into a mindscape, in an area, as Naruto then sees all the bijus are there. As the bijus see Naruto would then say, thank you for freeing us from this control. It is not thanks to you that his plan will come to fruition. As I said before reward, we would like to give you something, our chakra. As Kurama then says, siblings, I believe he is the one father spoke of. As his siblings are saying, now we will want to give you even more of our chakra. As Naruto begins to feel the other Biju's chakra hits, um, inside of him, as Naruto is then breaking, broken out of this trance, out of the mindscape by a voice saying, Naruto, do it now. As Naruto then goes and takes care of the other Biju that Shikaku is taking on, the four, three, and two tails. As the as he's pulled into the mosque again and given some of their chakra. Actually, no, they're just giving chakra, sending get the sword into Naruto. When something's happened, as Obito stabs Naruto through the heart, Naruto falls to the ground as Obito takes the sword and is about to start taking the chakra from um, taking the mind tails from Naruto, only to be pushed back by Gara Sand Attack. As Gara um, is being caught off guard by Pain, as Pain stabs a rod directly through Gara's stomach, as Gara falls to the ground. As Toby momentarily takes his notice, um, well, takes his um, focus off Naruto and heads towards Gara, saying, I think I'll take the one tails now. Full guard then begins to send a tendril of sand towards Naruto. As what Obito doesn't know is that this, well, the sand attack was big, it was almost as big as Shikaku. Gara was giving Shikaku freely to Naruto, which means that Gara, if the Biju was forcefully taken from someone, they would obviously die. But what if the Biju wasn't forcefully taken from someone, but was, cho but was willingly transferred? We're gonna give it to where Gara will survive this if, well, if he doesn't die to Obito or Pain. As Naruto is now in a mindscape, as he has now been basically killed, which was not supposed to be happening. Anything wasn't no thing was supposed to be able no weapon was supposed to be able to pierce the chakra barrier that his seal had put around him. Unless it was made up of all five elements, but that's not possible for those rods to be made up of those elements. Right? As Naruto then is hears a voice saying, Hello, reincarnation of Ashura. As Naruto turns around, as he then sees an older man, as Naruto then asks the old man, Who is he? As the man the then began to spend the his hug on Otsutsuki. Now, I'm going to have this go much like it does in canon, except Naruto isn't dumb. So, he does understand a lot of things that the sage is telling him, rather than his canon, so who didn't understand as much. As Hagoromo would then give Naruto his power, Obito, who who was trying to take the One Tails from Gara, would realize the One Tails is gone. As he looks back at Naruto, 
before saying you damn kids are getting in the way of my plans. Before then rushing to kill Gara as a hand is then it then grabs the rod. As he looks as he says Who are you? Only to see Naruto staring back at him. Blood lusted. Um killing it then actually oozing off of him. As Naruto then enters six pass stage mode, which it wasn't really necessary, but he enters it anyway. Naruto says you'll pay for this. Stealing cart. God's rage. As Naruto says, there's something about this seal. Only I and a person who has a seal placed on them can escape. No space time ninjutsu works on it. No jutsu to absorb or di redirect it works. It takes its targets. As Naruto then touches Gara. Before, um, for the attack is then launched on Pain and Obito. As both Pain and Obito begin to disintegrate. As the attack is basically kind of like the particle style. The particle is basically kind of like the particle style except on a much larger scale. As Naruto has basically created a, um, a hole the size of a country from where he was at. Luckily no one else was hurt during this. Due to it being pushed back to where towards the Hiraim village, where it's currently evacuated, due to them going into war and not wanting to get any of their civilians being hurt, along with Iowa, also the size of a country that's a pretty big size of a thing, which is why this move is seemingly it's really esca inescapable, because you have whichever you have no idea which way it was spread. The only owner, only the cast of the YouTube would know how it spread out. As Naruto then grabs Gara, for saying, Gara, are you okay? Gara says, yeah, I'll live. As Naruto says, you need Shikaku to heal you. Gara says, it's alright, Naruto. I've been thinking about giving up Shikaku for a while. To let him roam free. Maybe he'd mind his own business and never bother anyone again. But I gave it to you, but I'm glad it's the, you are the person I gave it to. As Gara then says goodbye, as Naruto says you won't die on me, before then plunging his hand into Gara's wound. As QB, some of the QB's chakra begins to flood around, along with the other Bijus, as Shikaku's chakra flows the most. As more, the majority of Shikaku's chakra enters Gara's system again, and Shikaku feels the empty void of Gara's shattering seal, which began to repair itself with Naruto helping. As Naruto then says, now to take care of the rest. As Naruto would then say, weight seals release, gravity seals release. As Naruto then goes on, as he then speeds off at the speed of light. And the thing about it, he's in, he is in his um, six pass stage mode state. So um, he's in the six pass stage mode, um, six pass chakra mode. So he is that fast, but maybe even faster than what he would have been in canon. As Naruto then brings out his sword, the one sword that he has, it, well, the sword that he used to kill Itachi. As, Nar as he brings in his other hand, he brings out his scythe, before then coating them in a basically a basic two sword style grip. Naruto will say, "Sealing art. Night's ending." Before then slashing both in the X formation. With as, it, as it releases a dark black wave of energy sharp enough to cut through anything. As Kisame, who is currently fighting the others, is seeing this as he slaughtered most of the people who were fighting them, and is now currently fighting Kakashi, Kakashi then brings him back. As I do know, I did say Sakura and, you know, honestly, Kakashi would be there to help. Which they were, but when Tsunami, Tsunami eventually called them over to help um, Kara, I mean, to help um, the other forces um, fight the other members of the Akatsuki and the other Shinobi. It was actually kind of, well, I kind of didn't go into it because there were other Shinobis. They were only really expecting the Akatsuki to, to fight, not a whole other village, and well, two other villages, whether, whether one was a minor village or not. As Kisame would be sliced in half. As Kisame, this is what's happening. As he's still alive, but then is then pulled into a center of gravity. 
as Naruto then runs towards the center of gravity before then stabbing his sword through it as Kisame's body is split into four pieces at this time. And the center of gravity is basically a sealing, a, um, a basically a seal, kind of like Donzo. Donzo's seal, but instead of it, um, basically sealing, um, instead of it come the seal is exploding off of him, the seal is basically draw anything into it rather than allowing anything to get away from it. And instead of, um, coming off of the person, it's really difficult to explain if I'm being honest. I really made the move on those fly. I should have kind of scripted this. I should have scripted the what if, but I decided to be lazy and not to. And kind of couldn't. So it's, it's, I didn't know what I want, what direction I want to go with the story. So, yeah. yeah as Naruto stabs his blade through it, both blades through it, or one blade through it, Kisame is then pulled into it as he's then sealed away into the blade. As Naruto then feel then feel something eating at his chakra. As Naruto then grabs the scythe, before then plunging it into Samehada. And Samehada isn't killed immediate was killed immediately when something weird happens. Instead of it's basically the since Samehada is sentient, I'm going to give it a soul. Instead of his soul basically leaving from the sword, the soul is drawn into the to the scythe. Since Grimm was one of the unkillable people, it kind whenever it kills an opponent. Whenever Grimm kills an opponent as a scythe, it basically takes their that, that opponent's soul and adds to its own power, making it even stronger every time. Naruto kind of boosted this to make it three times as strong than normal, rather than just adding twice as strong or more than that, or three times as strong as the soul was that it just absorbed. So that soul that it just absorbed, somehow I mean, the soul is now three times strong. It's, it's three times stronger. So when Grimm absorbed it. It basically got three times, three times of summon how the soul, and then multiplied that by two. It's kind of difficult math, if I'm being honest. I'm confusing myself with this, but anyways, as Naruto continues, as Naruto sees the rest of the Akatsuki members are mostly dealt with, as Naruto begins to help, um, help Jiraiya and Tsunade, as he sees Jiraiya is missing the arm, and Tsunade is missing now missing is missing her hand. Naruto is extremely angered by this. As Naruto then transforms into his full Biju state, as he lets out a roar and begins running towards Onoiki before grabbing him and basically having the Kurama avatar maul Onoiki. As Naruto says, now you will all see the end. As all the orbs, as all of his seals on his body begin to transform together, as Naruto then says one word, or the one jutsu, sealing art, destruction. As a ball of pure of the five elements is then created, as they're all mixing, creating all these sub elements and using them in their most potent of states. Well, in a in a single energy ball, particle style, um, storm release, lightning release, fire release, earth release, wind release, water release. All these things are constantly combining and getting stronger. As Naruto then feels the flow of two other energies within it, Yen and Yang release, Yen Yang release, and Yang Yen release, which I'm just going to be creating basically. It's just the opposite of Yin Yang release, which creates things, this things which destroys it. Actually, no. When I have it, when it, includes, um, when it involves Yen and Yang release, then Yen Yang release, and along with five elements, I'm going to have it create Yang Yin release, or destruction. I'm going to have it create destruction release. Which is basically when all other sub elements, all elements, sub elements, and yin release, yang release, and then yin yang release is all combined. Which I might actually make it to a what if. Which will basically just be God of Destroy. It's kind of like a Hakai, but not at the same time. You know what? Why not just make it a Hakai and skip the whole explanation and get, just get rid of the past explanation that I just gave? It's kind of like that. As Naruto then launches it at the group of Shinobi, all of the Shinobi. Will be taken care of due to the sealing style, due to Naruto's powerful seals. As this would end, this will finally end as the Koski, <clears throat> their allies, and everything has now been taken care of. With the Akoski now being taken care of, 
as Naruto and Konoha all celebrate their win before heading back with Gara on the inf ready going to the infirmary to make sure that he's okay, along with the rest of the people who were injured. There was no losses. There were barely any losses on Konoha's side. No major losses like someone like Neji or anything like that. As Naruto and Konoha are visiting back home, Naruto, someone walks up to Naruto from behind being Kari. As Kari then grabs Naruto before kissing him again. As Kari says, I knew we'd win. And now Naruto. Before she pulls Naruto to the side and she doesn't kind of don't want to do this in front of everyone. She would then say, Naruto, I really like you and I would hope that you will pursue a relationship with me. Naruto sighs and says, Kari, you know what? Life is too short. Why not? As Karin smiles at this. As her and Naruto then leave and come join the group as they head back to Konoha. And from then on they celebrate. But this is not the end of the what if. As when they are there, they are then met by the forces of Root as they have taken over the village of Konoha. As Naruto says, no. As Danzo appears and says, my, my. You fought me more shinobi and for all and all of these shinobis to have under my mind control. Before Donzo would then activate Shisui's Koto Matsukami. Um Shisui's Market Hero starting on using Koto Matsukami. It would affect everyone, even Karin, except for Naruto. Everyone except for Naruto. Naruto looks around and says, What did you do? As Donzo says, Why weren't you infected? He says it'll take a while for me to get a grasp on our monsters. There's so many of them. So they'll be out for now. But now I'll just take care of you myself. Before Donzo would then run towards Naruto, using, um, using his um, using wind style, uh, wind style shurikens coated, shurikens coated in, in wind chakra. As he throws them at Naruto, as Naruto dodges them. As Donzo tries, then goes on and grabs Naruto. As Naruto then who brings out Grimm, or the Reaper, or the Scythe, before they're slicing off Donzo's arm, as Naruto has sensed multiple chakra, chakra signatures coming from them, the chakra signatures of a Dojutsu. As Naruto will look and see that Donzo has some of the chakra, um, uh, some of the, um, some of the, um, has the eyes of the Uchiha kind embedded in his arm. But then Donzo will begin to phase out of reality, as he visits back in with his arm reattached. As Donzo says, thank God I had an arm attached to my shoulder, right above where he cut it off. As Donzo begins to attack Naruto relentlessly, with Naruto attacking Donzo, with the root ninjas eventually jumping in to help. But they are still massacred by Naruto, as Naruto is in a rage, in a, in a, is basically coming out for blood. Naruto is not going to be holding back. As Naruto says, Donzo, you will die today. Before then conjuring up the Kurama avatar, she says, My mind, that power be mine. As Naruto sees the seal on Donzo, but the seal is not something that was in his house. Donzo broke into his house and got this seal. This seal is a biju, is a um, seal that basically instantly takes the biju from someone and then instantly kills in Jinturiki, not allowing any chance of survival. They like they die instantly, it's instant death. As Naruto sees this, he's extremely angered. But De uh, but Donzo has to touch him himself, not this, not the Avatar. So Naruto then kicks Donzo away from Konoha, so that the Konoha won't be caught in the black clash of this, the backlash of this attack. As Naruto begins to power up, two Rasen shurikens in his um, in the Kurama Avatar's arm. The Kurama Avatar. Uh, um, has combined with three other Kurama avatars, making the Kurama avatar that Naruto used against Sasuke in the final battle. I think I actually have it saved. Okay, the six pass Ultra Big Barras and Shuriken. As Naruto makes some hand signs, as multiple shadow clones that begin to form beside him, approximately nine shadow clones. They all in in, in his six pass sage mode in his um six pass chakra mode cloak. As they begin to power to press pause. 
Super Tail Beast Rasian Shuriken. As all the tail, as all the Naruto's young lads, they take on the Rasian Shurikens take on the the different chakra variations of the other tail beasts. One of them being a Magna release or Singon. Another being the Singon of the two tails, which is kind of like a fire, a very hot fire, blue fire Rasian Shuriken. Another is a um what is it? a ball a uh, ball release Rasian Rasian Shuriken. Another is a lava release, and so on and so forth. As the as Naruto's met Big Karama, the original Naruto and Big Karama Avatar begins to charge it up, as all they all throw the attacks at once. Before Naruto would then say, um, as all the attacks combine, as Naruto then says, pulls his hand out before saying, Era "Sailing Guard, Erasure." As Naruto destroys Donzo and basically erases every single evidence every single evidence that something was even there which includes the valley itself where Naruto was at there's a big chunk of earth missing from this and this is very different from the destruction ability which actually only attacks those with chakra sources and well those they think are deemed as enemy chakra sources by the user this one basically erases everything around it. And so if there were comrades there, then Naruto would have killed his comrades. But this will sadly end off the series. No, no it won't actually. I gotta have him come back to Konoha. So Naruto will eventually come back to Konoha and to the front to see all of the people there that has snapped out of Donzo's. <clears throat> he has snapped out of Donzo's. Um, Koto Matsukami since he is now dead truly because the erasure ability kind of cancels out any um kind of would have canceled out any immortality type juices like he dons immortality would have canceled that out and killed him Kaku's immortality would have basically just destroyed all his arts Donzo's um Izanagi would have basically since it bends reality no it kind of wouldn't have killed him, but the attacks did. The attacks killed him many times over. Since it was in too wide of an area, Donzo would actually die countless times. So he did end up actually dying, and, and it destroyed all the arm, all the all the his arms, um, his entire body, including the shrine gods in his um Hashirama self sealed um Hashirama cells filled arm, Hashirama, um, his arm filled with Hashirama cells. So that's what happened with Donzo. Donzo died so many times due to that one tack. I should call it Six Pass Sage Arc. Ultimate Rasengan Destruction. Rasen Shuriken Destruction, actually, because they use Rasen Shurikens. I like that. I coined that name. I made that. I feel awesome. Anyways, besides that, Naruto would head back to see everyone snapping out. As Naruto would run up to Karin, being most concerned about this, Naruto basically not too long ago just got into a relationship with Karin. As Naruto will check up on her, Karin will stand up, for they are then met by the forces of Root, which are easily taken care of by the other shinobi. As they go back to reclaim Konoha, getting all the civilians out of there, out of the way, out of from where they're hiding at, which is the, which is the basic, um, from, um, it's actually keeping them from the, the root ages that had captured them. As they will reclaim the village, and after everything settles down, they would hold a giant celebration, with the Gara being there, resigned, and would then tell Naruto one thing that would surprise him. He's resigning from being the Kazekage. He became Kazekage at a young age. He didn't really get to enjoy life. And he doesn't think he wants to go back to being Kazekage after this. So he's gonna retire. Sinata says, well, God, sad. I thought we would be able to be Kage together. God says, I'm sorry, friend. But I I'm sadly could not keep that promise. Sinata says, it's alright, God. The job of a Kage can be pretty stressful. I won't hold that against you. As Gara and Naruto began to talk more, 
as we get into a time skip to about the age of well Naruto was 19 when he came back to so the age of and he went left so he's around 20 20, 20 he's around the age of 20 so we're gonna go to Naruto the age of 23 which is a three year time skip as everyone in the village is now is now at is now at the Hokage Tower outside in the form uniforms for when new Hokage is inaugurated as Tsunade walks up, as Tsunade says, Hello, Konoha. Today is a very big day. Today, we celebrate our saviors. We celebrate our savior from the threat known as the Akoski and Donzo. Today is the day that our hero becomes Hokage. As everyone begins to clap and cheer, as there is a certain redhead with a little redhead child was currently a child or baby at the time you guys get what i'm insinuating as no as not Naruto, as uh Tsunade then says well then we all know who he is so why not give a warm introduction to naruto uzumaki the sixth hokage and this is where we're going to be in the go through what if I hope you guys have enjoyed it. It is currently going to be probably like a two-hour movie that will be coming out Tuesday. I only know Tuesday out tomorrow or today or Tuesday, and tomorrow I will be I will be going in and recording what if Naruto or what if Deku was Hawkeye. It has a movie since this is movie weekend. I won't be doing the series. I'll sit down for like an hour, maybe four hours to four hours of record, simply recording the what if putting it all together and making it make sure it's out for Thursday which is when that what if will come out and on um, Saturday is when the other movie come out which be, will be a secret until it comes out so I hope to see you guys then and there Drip Kage out